Okay, this is a new chapter, uh, chapter 5 uh, of the course General Physics, Physics 1011. So it's all about oscillation wave and optics. Uh, now let's start from the uh, okay introduction. A wave is a propagating dynamic disturbance change from equilibrium, from equilibrium position of one or more quantities, sometimes as, uh, described by the wave uh, equation. So a wave is a disturbance in an extended physical system that is both repetitive in time and periodic uh, in space. A wave involves similar repetitive energy flow to an oscillation, but in addition, is capable of transmitting energy and information from place to place. Okay, wave uh, can be divided uh, or categorized into mechanical wave and uh, electromagnetic wave. As you can see in a mechanical wave, <laughs> they need material medium to travel, but this can easily uh, travel through uh, vacuum, electromagnetic wave. Okay, so uh, the mechanical wave, uh, in this mechanical wave, we have longitudinal wave and transversal wave. An example of longitudinal wave is sound wave. An example of transversal uh, wave is uh, water wave where the direction of uh, motion and, <clears throat> and the direction of propagation and the vibration of the particle in this longitudinal wave are parallel but in transversal wave they are perpendicular to each other okay an example of electromagnetic wave this light wave microwave infrared x-ray all these are an example of electromagnetic wave and all this also included under transversal wave. This is an example of transversal uh, wave. So that's the division between a mechanical wave and electromagnetic wave. Okay, so having this in mind, uh, we have to see the periodic and oscillatory motion. When a body repeats its path of motion back and forth, for uh, uh, for about the equilibrium in position, uh, then the motion is said to be periodic. Consider this is a equilibrium position, then there is a back and forth motion in this simple pendulum. There is a back and forth motion. So this is said to be a periodic motion, the periodic motion. You can consider also spring mass system. So this is a equilibrium position of spring mass system. The spring goes up and then goes down. It goes up and goes down. There are 10 maximum here, maximum amplitude to the positive and maximum amplitude to the negative. So this is considered to be a periodic motion, but all periodic motion need not be back and forth because this one, the motion of the earth around the sun is considered to be a periodic motion, but it's not back and forth motion like this too. So we can say that all periodic motion need not be back and forth like the motion of the earth about the sun, which is periodic but not vibrat vibratory in nature the periodic motion in which there is existence of restoring force and the body moves along the same path to and fro about a definite point or equilibrium point is called oscillatory motion it is included under oscillatory uh, motion okay so there are uh, uh, types of uh, oscillatory motion these are the types of oscillatory motion one is linear oscillatory motion, the other is uh, circular oscillatory motion. Okay, now let's see the examples of linear oscillatory motion. One of the examples of linear oscillatory motion is oscillation of mass spring system. This is an example of linear oscillatory motion. Mass spring system is an example of linear oscillatory motion. The motion is in linear direction. The other example for linear oscillatory motion is oscillation of fluid in U2, U, U, uh, uh, two columns. So here is one of the example of uh, linear oscillatory motion. This um, this uh, water will go up and down, up and down in linear direction. That's why included under uh, linear oscillatory motion. The other, the third example is oscillation of floating cylinder. Consider this is a cylinder which is floating. Then when you push downward and release it, there is a motion. There is oscillatory motion of this cylinder. So. This is linear, it is included under linear oscillatory. Okay, the other example is oscillation of body dropped into a tunnel along the Earth's diameter. So if there is a possibility to have a tunnel along the Earth's diameter, so if you release one object at the center of here, the attraction or the gravitational force become zero. 
this is considered to be the equilibrium point so when it go downward the force will be in this direction when it go upward the force will be in this direction so there will be oscillation of uh, certain objects so the certain objects that's uh, that's an Im Im imagination so like this one this is uh, uh, tunnel uh, if possible no actually it's not possible to have such type of tunnel so that can be included a linear uh, under linear oscillatory motion okay <clears throat> the other one is oscillation of string of musical uh, instrument is this also included under uh, linear oscillatory motion okay so now let's uh, see the other types of oscillatory motion which is circular oscillatory motion one of the best example for uh, oscillation, uh, circular oscillatory motion is oscillation of simple pendulum this is oscillation of the simple pendulum it goes in a curved path so it's included under circular oscillatory motion okay the other example is oscillation of solid sphere in uh, cylinder like this one consider a certain cylinder so if you release a sphere so the sphere will oscillate like this so it's included under circular oscillatory motion and the third example oscillation of circular ring like this one suspended on a nail this is a nail we suspend this circular uh, mm, circular ring then the oscillation of this circular ring circular ring is included under under a circular oscillatory motion okay we have also oscillatory uh, balance wheel of a clock and this is included under circulatory circular oscillatory rotation of there's around the sun also included under uh circulatory uh, uh, oscillation uh, motion okay okay <clears throat> oscillatory system oscillatory are the basic building blocks of waves oscillators are the basic building blocks of waves uh also whenever we say oscillators oscillator can also found in a circuit there are also oscillatory uh, circuits in order to produce a certain wave so oscillatory system are of two types one is mechanical the other is okay now let's see the mechanical oscillatory system in this type of system a body itself changes its position a body itself changes its position for mechanical uh, oscillatory two things are uh, especially responsible the first one is inertia the other one is uh, restoring uh, force so spring one system is an example of mechanical oscillatory motion the other one is non-mechanical oscillatory motion this type of system the body itself doesn't change its position but it is physical property in mechanical oscillatory motion the physical property of the body varies periodically the physical property of the body part but here the body itself you knows the physical property change the position in case of spring mass system okay there are important terms whenever we deal about with these are a very important word with like uh, period frequency and so on so the period is the time required for one complete oscillation or we can say it is the time required to complete one full cycle of evaporation or oscillation is called period the other one is frequency the frequency is the number of complete oscill 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 oscillations or cycles per unit time is included under frequency so the frequency of is given by one over the period frequency is the number of complete oscillation per time so this is included or we can say the frequency is one over the period if you get the period if the period is 20 second one over 20 which is 0 0.05 uh, hertz will be the value of the frequency okay now let's go to the uh, second uh, the other slide uh, this in this slide we get an example for uh, and the relation with uh, the other important point like the period and frequency is amplitude is the maximum displacement of the oscillator from its equilibrium position for this one the equilibrium this is the equilibrium position so from this point up to this point is considered to be the amplitude of this one or from this point up to this point is the maximum displacement of the oscillator from the equilibrium position so in this one as uh, we have seen here this is a spring mass system it oscillates uh, in this uh, direction in linear direction it's included under linear oscillatory uh, motion so the amplitude is from this equilibrium position up to this one uh, this distance is considered to be the value of the amplitude okay let's have an example on average the human heart is found to be to beat 75 times in a minute 
So calculate the frequency and period. So first you have to know this one. It is 75 uh, times per minute means there is 75 cycles per minute. So one minute is 60 seconds. So this is 75 should be multiplied divided by 60 seconds. It becomes one over 25 per second. So this per second means the frequency where frequency is equal to one over uh, period. So one over T, though the T is already known, 1.25 per second, cycle per uh, second. Therefore, 1.5 is the, uh, the hertz is the amount of the or the value of the frequency okay the time period t is equal to one over the frequency frequency 1.25 therefore one over 1.5 will be equal to 0 0.8 second is the values of the uh, period okay now let's proceed okay the other one is for a simple harmonic uh, motion uh, is a special type of oscillatory motion caused by a restoring force so whenever uh, we we look the simple harmonic motion shm so in this case we have to consider there is the presence of restoring force which obeys the hooke's law so in simple harmonic motion uh, acceleration is always directly proportional in size but opposite in direction to the displacement it is directly proportional in size but opposite to the displacement so assuming the net force on the block is spring force which obeys Hooke's law so the force is equal to minus k x this is the restoring force the restoring force is equal to for this one is equal to minus k x we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration so this mass times acceleration which is equal to uh, the restoring force which is minus k therefore <clears throat> therefore when you divide both sides this by mass divide this one by mass then you will get on the left side you get acceleration mass cancelled by mass acceleration which is equal to minus k over m x and we know that k over m is replaced by omega square omega is the angular frequency which is 2 pi f which is equal to k over m therefore finally we can say that the acceleration is equal to for such spring system is equal to minus omega square times x will be the formula for finding the acceleration okay so having this in mind there is also a characteristics of simple harmonic motion uh, one of the uh, characteristics of this special type of uh, 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 oscillatory motion which is simple harmonic motion the amplitude in simple harmonic motion the amplitude is constant because of the presence of restoring force the amplitude is constant the frequency and period are independent of the amplitude this amplitude the constant amplitude is not uh, no this two is not depend on the values of this amplitude so the frequency period are independent of the amplitude the third one is the fluctuating quantity can be expressed in terms of sinusoidal function of a single frequency so this one the fluctuating quantity can be expressed by sinusoidal there is a sinusoidal wave which is a sine wave so it can be expressed in terms of the sinusoidal uh, function okay for simple harmonic motion to occur to occur this simple harmonic motion there must be a stable equilibrium position that is the first thing should be satisfied there must be no dissipation of energy or the energy should be uh, compensated by restoring force the acceleration is proportional to the displacement and opposite in direction acceleration proportional to displacement but it's in opposite direction okay so displacement in most cases especially for sinusoidal wave is given as x is equal to x is for the displacement is equal to a is amplitude sine omega t omega is the angular frequency 2 pi f uh, 2 pi f omega is for a uh, 2 pi f t okay now if you want to find the velocity you have to derivate this one with respect to time dx by dt which is equal to we have a uh, so applying chain rule omega t will get omega so a multiplied by omega then sine become cos cosine so the velocity is equal to v dx by dt which is equal to omega a cosine of omega t the other one is the acceleration acceleration is equal to minus omega square multiplied by the area sine of omega t 
which is equal to minus omega at the x. In order to find this acceleration, derivate this velocity, derivate this velocity with respect to time. When you derivate this with respect to time, applying chain rule, the derivation of uh, omega t with, uh, with respect to time become omega. Omega times omega, it becomes omega square. Cosine will become minus of sine omega t. So we have a minus sine omega times omega, omega square. There is amplitude multiplied by amplitude sine omega t will be the value of the acceleration. Okay, so maximum velocity occur at equilibrium position with v max is equal to omega a. V max is equal to this maximum value of the uh, velocity is when this becomes one, which is at equilibrium position. At equilibrium position, okay. So which is equal to omega a. The maximum acceleration, which is uh, this value, uh, when this value the, the sine value uh, become one. So the maximum acceleration will be equal to omega square a will be the maximum uh, value of the acceleration. Okay. Now let's have a simple example. This is an example regarding displacement. An object oscillates with a simple harmonic motion along the x-axis. The position varies with time according to the equation. This is the values of x. The displacement is given 4 meter, 4.00 meter, cosine of pi t plus pi over 4, where t is in second and the angle uh, and parenthesis are radians. Okay, so the first one is determine the amplitude. The amplitude is simply 4. 4 is the amplitude. 4 meter is the amplitude. Always uh, in front of this cosine or sine, we get the amplitude. So the answer for amplitude is 4. The other one is uh, the frequency. In order to get the frequency, uh, first you know that this is omega t. Pi t means omega t. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. So 2 pi f is equal to pi. 2 pi f is equal to pi. Pi cancelled by pi. So f is equal to 1 over 2. 1 over 2 pi already cancel out. 1 over 2. So the frequency is 1 over 2. Therefore, the period, the period is equal to 1 over the frequency, which is 2. So the period is become 2 because omega t means uh, omega t in the case of omega angular frequency is already given pi. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. 2 pi f is equal to pi. Pi cancelled by pi. We have 2 f is equal to one so f is equal to one over two therefore uh the reciprocal of one over two is the period there is the reciprocal of uh, frequency is the period so simply we can get the answer for a and the other one for b calculate the velocity acceleration of the object in order to get the velocity you have to derivate this one with respect to time so when you derivate this one with respect to time again you have to use a chain rule then finally this becomes zero pi pi derivative with respect to time uh, pi t uh, with respect to time so when you derivate this one you will get pi so we get here 4 pi so the derivation of cosine we have a uh, result let's see the result it becomes um, uh, minus of this one minus 4 pi and sine pi t for the this is the values of the velocity okay so cosine becomes minus and this pi over 4 0 and pi t become pi, pi uh, times 4, 4 pi, then this is the result, which is 4 pi minus 4 pi meter per second, sine pi t pi over 4. The cos cosine, when you derivate cosine with respect to time, you'll get minus sine, that's why we get uh, minus sine. Okay, the other one, calculate velocity in acceleration. So to get the acceleration, you need to derivate this, uh, or the second derivative of x will be taken, or derivate v with respect to time when you derivate v with respect to time this v with respect to time again chain rule this becomes pi pi times pi it becomes pi square minus 4 pi square and cosine of pi t pi over four, minus 4 pi square meter per second square cosine of pi t pi over 4 is the acceleration simple in the last one let's see the last which is use uh, part b this b and determine the position velocity acceleration so after you found the formula for velocity acceleration and already the uh, uh, displacement is uh, given so uh, <clears throat> it is uh, possible to get uh, 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 in, in number form by substituting t is equal to one second the last one is determine maximum speed and maximum acceleration which is taken to be the uh, value of uh, <clears throat> This, these values are considered to be the maximum velocity and acceleration. 
omega is the maximum uh, maximum omega is the maximum uh, velocity omega square a is also the maximum acceleration okay now let's proceed to the 5.2 it is uh, about the simple uh, pendulum so a simple pendulum is another mechanical system that exhibit a periodic motion this is an example of simple pendulum it consists of a small bob this is a small bob this is a small bob it's called bob of mass m suspended by a light string these strings the string that you get here is light uh, light string which is massless string we mean that the string is the string's mass is assumed to be very small compared with the mass of the bob so hence we have to neglect the mass of the string there sometimes you consider it as massless so when uh, released the bob swing is to to and fro motion this is the two fro uh, to and fro motion of uh, this bob uh, so uh, so uh, that uh, its motion is a simple harmonic sorry uh, simple uh, harmonic okay so in this one uh, there are important points that we need to consider this theta is uh, theta so in, in consideration of the amplitude and there is a frictionless pivot point and this road is massless road and this is a bob and this is the equilibrium uh, position and this one shown by red line is the bob trajectory okay so the only force that is applied on this simple pendulum is the weight of the bob or the gravitational force is applied on this one uh, for example at this point the weight is downward so the force that is shown in here in capital uh, uh, letter so this one is uh, the force which drags this ball in uh, towards the direction of the equilibrium uh, point so here we have mg sine theta and mg uh, cos theta okay so a force of gravity is the only force that acts, acts on the pendulum i already told you that this the force of gravity is the only force it is the only force that acts on uh, the pendulum the pendulum bob moves along a circular arc rather than back and forth in a straight line so period can be calculated using the formula period is equal to 2 pi length of the string divided by the acceleration due to gravity so in experimental work by having a simple pendulum we can measure simply the period for for example for 20 oscillation if you get 10 second so 10 second divided by 20 uh, it becomes 0 0.1 uh, so, uh, no it becomes 0 0.5 uh, uh, so this 0 0.5 is considered to be the period so we we can easily measure the length then finally it's possible to get the acceleration due to gravity of that uh, area okay now there is an example a rock swings in a circle uh, at a constant speed on uh, the end on a string making 50 revolution in 30 seconds how many revolutions there are 50 revolutions in 30 seconds what is the frequency and the period for this motion okay solution to get the frequency first you have to take the number of revolution the, the period of cycle is equal 50, to one over and the time for this revolution is 30 seven. seconds so 50 divided by 30 seconds will be equal to zero frequency, which is 1.6 which is equal to zero after we get the frequency so the this protocol of this one is not correct will be equal to, to have a correction the period. it should energy of a simple harm harmonic oscillator so in the absence of friction in the not present in the absence of friction the total energy of a block spring system is constant and equal to the sum of kinetic and potential energy so the potential energy the potential energy for example in simple amount of uh, best example of simple harmonic motion is spring mass system so the potential energy is given by the potential energy is given by half kx square and the kinetic energy is half mv square the mass and the speed of the mass will be considered therefore the total energy is the sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy always 
always the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy will be equal to 1 over 2 k square a is the maximum amplitude the amplitude of this simple harmonic motion so the constant k multiplied by a square half of this will be equal to the total energy so the sum of these two this may vary potential energy it may acquire maximum or half blah blah whatever 25 percent whatever it is so there is a variation in potential and kinetic energy uh, in during the uh, uh, oscillation of this uh, the mass and spring mass system so but the energy is already known which is half kx square so knowing the values of v and k on at the amplitude it's possible to find the x value so energy in simple harmonic motion is constant and proportional to the square of the amplitude energy is constant which is k is constant i have for simple harmonic motion amplitude is kept constant therefore uh, the energy is constant half k square so this energy is uh, proportional to the square of uh, the amplitude okay and it, uh, it uh, wave and its characteristics so here waves are one of uh, uh, ways in which energy may be transferred between uh, stores so uh, so wave always carry energy so it carry energy from the source to the destination all waves carry energy and momentum pulse is a uh, single disturbance a pulse is just like uh, this one this and uh, such type of motion in a string is a pulse so it carries uh, it's a disturbance and it carries energy from one place to the other. Okay, there are terminologies in a wave. The first terminology, terminologies in a wave, crest, trough, are position in a wave with maximum displacement above and below the equilibrium position. Above and below the equilibrium position, we get crest and trough. So the amplitude is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. The other one is the displacement is the position of a wave from equilibrium position at any time the other one is wavelength distance between two consecutive points which are in phase or distance between two consecutive crests or lambda okay so <clears throat> period t is the time that's already taken by a wave to move uh, to move one uh, wavelength so frequency the number of oscillation per time you know it therefore this speed can be given as the multiplication of lambda which is the wavelength multiplied by the frequency is equal to v for example if it is an electromagnetic wave and most of the time uh, the speed of light or that's an example of uh, uh, electromagnetic waves the speed of light is taken to be c therefore c is equal to lambda multiplied c is a constant which is the speed of light approximately three times 10 raised to 8 meter per second so c is equal to lambda times frequency so when you come back so wave uh, uh, it can propagate through a material medium or for uh, creating of a wave uh, uh, there should be a vibration of a material medium and such type of waves are included under mechanical wave but this do not need any material medium to travel so it's possible for electromagnetic wave to travel through a vacuum also through a material so mechanical wave uh, as we have seen it before uh, we have longitudinal wave as well as transversal wave but in this electromagnetic wave are included under transversal wave okay let's see this an example of transversal wave this is an example of transfer the direction of propagation is towards right the direction of vibration is up and down so they are perpendicular to each other look this one this is the uh, vibration is up and down the vibration is up and down but the motion uh, of this uh, wave is towards the right so this is towards this direction this is up and down so they make 90 degree with each other so it's included under transversal wave so this transversal wave the direction of propagation is towards the right or toward in the x-axis but this one is in the y-axis so they make 90 degree with each other that's the difference between longitudinal wave and transversal wave. As you can see here, it's an example of longitudinal wave. The vibration is uh, uh, in this line, in x direction. And as you can see, the vibration is in this direction. Uh, direction of propagation, as you see, the direction of propagation is so in the same direction. So they are parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. Direction of propagation and vibration. That is included under longitudinal wave. Here, 
also you can understand that here also you can understand that the wavelengths is from this point these are crests these points are crest these are crest crest and crest between two consecutive crests we have one wavelength or these are trough trough so between these two consecutive troughs we have wavelength so the links from here to here is lambda which is one uh, wavelength okay let's proceed to uh, the other one which is the types of wave which is already know that waves can be categorized as mechanical and electromagnetic waves based on the need of material medium for propagation mechanical waves are waves produced by oscillation of particles of a mechanical medium and need medium for propagation in case of uh, mechanical wave for example the speaker the speaker so uh, it's produced by a paper the vibration of paper produces sound and this sound should uh, uh, need a medium to travel for example the air the molecules uh, of this air are one of the material and the medium just to transmit this uh, wave with sound wave okay electromagnetic wave are produced by accelerated charged particles and can be propagated charged particle like electron and can propagate through material medium and vacuum in both it can propagate through material medium as well as in vacuum but this mechanical wave they only propagate through material medium okay examples of mechanical wave water wave can also be included under mechanical wave sound wave wave on a string are uh, also included under uh, mechanical wave electromagnetic wave light wave radio wave television wave microwave x-ray all these are included under electromagnetic wave where electromagnetic wave contain electric field and magnetic field they are vibrating 90 degree with each other okay uh, the next topic is uh, resonance we will see this one uh, next time